<laughs> Silly noob, you cannot hope to succeed. Oh shit. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Hey there everyone, this is Bold Donut from the Never Regret Clan, and today we're going to show you how to replicate a scene from one of the most popular machinimas, Red vs. Blue Reconstruction. In Chapter 6 of Red vs. Blue Reconstruction, Church shoots a rocket at the meta, and the meta freezes time in order to escape. So thanks to Razor Pogo, we're going to show you how to recreate this effect using Sony Vegas 7. For this effect, you will need a video editor that has the ability to create a mask with at least two layers. I am going to be using Sony Vegas 7, but there are other video editors that can do this effect as well. So, let's get started. The first thing that you will have to do is act the scene out. This is by far the hardest part of creating the effect. As you can see, the Elite is on the rock, and Spartan is on the ground, shooting up at it. This, however, is just an appearance. It is actually two separate video clips, added together, but filmed in the exact same spot. When I did this, I had both characters log into the same match, but I recorded the clips from the same spot at two different times. When you film the scene with the person shooting the rocket, you need to hit the A button to pause the video to simulate the time freeze effect for the first video clip. Also, make sure you are aware of where you are going to make the Elite stand so that you do not have to refilm it. As in, where are you going to be aiming your rocket and make it look like you are aiming the rocket at him. When you are filming the rocket part, Sometimes, it's best to film it multiple times, but have the rocket go different distances each time, and then pick the one that works best in your film. I use this method, so I only have to film the video once, and don't have to risk having to go back and restart it. Once I am done filming it in theater mode, I then import it into Sony Vegas 7, so that I can now edit it. After importing it into Sony Vegas 7, I then cut the file into two scenes, which are the scenes I need for the video. Then, by using the layer systems, I put the layer with the guy shooting the rocket at the top and the elite at the bottom. Remember once again that these two clips do need to be filmed in the same spot or else this will not work and will make your video look horrible. Okay, so now what you need to do is go and create a mask. Now for the mask, you're going to want to put the mask on the guy who's shooting the rocket launcher and make sure that in the video clip you have it to the point where the rocket stops so that you can cut out the full length of the rocket and so that your rocket doesn't disappear. You also need to be very careful to keep it as close to the smoke and to the character as possible so that your other character or characters who are walking around once the time freezes do not lose their head because the video cuts it out. 
the last main thing that you need to make sure you're doing if you're doing it on Sony Vegas 7 is to set the mask to negative so that you actually see the guy with the rocket instead of not seeing him. After you're done with that, just get the timing right on your film and voila, you now have the time freeze effect. You can do this as close to the characters as you want and as far away as you want as well. There are multiple ways to do it, hundreds of angles you can choose from. I just decided to do it further back so that you have a better view of what is actually going on. Remember, if you see any special effects from any of your favorite Machinima producers and want to know how to recreate it, please send an email to machinimatethis at gmail.com with a link to the video and the time that the effect takes place within the video. This is Bold Donut from the Never Regret Clan saying, Peace out guys, and please stay tuned for more Machinimate This. Ugh! <laughs>